Welcome to another vlog. In the harbour, chasing brim on cranker crabs. So I thought I'd change it up today. So what I'm going to do is um, we're going to use uh, the in feet. So we're going to swap from the hyper to the in feet just to better our chances. So I'm going to use a TD Sol 2000. Whack it on the in feet. It's a softer tip, so that's what you need when you're crank fishing or if you're fishing with hard bodies. You just need that extra sensitive tip. So when the rod loads up, it sort of does the work for you. So I'm just going to switch over right now. And uh, once I do that, I'm going to put a crab on and we'll get moving. Be back soon, guys. <sighs> Missions today, eh? Missions today. Um, I'm not going to lie, I haven't had much, much luck in the harbour when it comes to brimming. I've been smoked a few times. I've probably landed two fish in amongst a lot of effort and sessions. I'll be happy with one or two fish today on the cranky crab. Um, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of brim in the harbour, but whether they take your bait or not, or lure, is a, is a different scenario, is a different question. It's a real different question because they, they're a, they are so picky, eh? Like they're just real spooky. Yeah, they really hesitate to take your, to take your lure. So I'm using six pound braid, six pound fluorocarbon. I will be using four pound, but I can't because if I catch a decent sized fish, I'm not gonna be able to lift it up with four pound, that's for sure. So it's the only reason why I'm not using four pound, but ideally I think you should use four pound here because they just don't hit your lure as much as you would like them to. I've got to say, it's been a long day. Just about to give up, but um, yeah, we'll give it probably another half an hour. Seen so many brim with no takers. It's been that bad today. I mean, I would have been happy if I didn't see any brim and I didn't get any bite. But when you see a shitload of them and they just don't want to hit your lure, it really just frustrates you. You just want to pack up and go. Just gonna leave it on the bottom for a second. Ah, oh, that's a joke, man. Should never be that hard. Should never be that hard to catch a bird. I've got one. Got one. On the bottom. Got one on the bottom. Yeah, baby. Oh, there's a couple now. There we go. He's not a bad one either, hey. There we go. We got it done. It was on the bottom. I wouldn't say I found the strategy, but it worked. Sort of hopping it off the bottom and he just took it. So there we have it, guys. Finally, on the cranker crab. Nice brim. Let's get a measure. I want to start keeping a record of these brim on the crankers. Because they don't come around much often. So we'll get a measure and we'll put him back. Definitely need a clean my definitely need to clean it my brag mat there you go it's 30 i mean any brim on a cranker crab's good eh i'm really not complaining about it let's get these trebles out treble points out without getting into any mischief so yeah 30 centimeter brim on a cranker crab i'm not complaining at all let's get these trebles out and put them back in that's on the cockle colour as well. We'll just release him over here because we might be able to get another one, hopefully. That's a nice brim on a cranker crab and that's what I wanted to do today. And I said that I only wanted one and I'll be happy. But he did come at the end after a couple of hours of fishing, so. Anyways, see you later. Let's see if we can get another one, eh? Let's see if we can pull it off again. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest with you, because it took me two hours to get that. So, I don't know.
really weedy around this section. Could be alright. Very tight though. If I do get a hit, it's pretty tight. Oh, I got one. Nice. Yeah, I got one. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's the way. Yeah, baby. Number two, smaller. There we go, guys. We made it two for the day. Cast it in that narrow area. And there we have it. A second Brimbo on the Cranker Crab. Definitely a lot smaller. Oh, it's come off. All right, you want to settle down so I can pull you back? Number two. I was hoping I'll get another one, so he hit that cockle colour on the light. Thank you. I'm not even going to measure him, he's not that big. Put him back in, see you later. Number two. Nice. Nice, nice. I don't understand why Brim do that, eh? They semi want something. What's the point, mate? So you want it or you don't. What are they contemplating when they're just looking at it? If it's food or not. I uh, got him and he's big. Oh yeah, we got him. He's followed it. He's a good one, man. He's definitely a good one. He's fighting real weird though. I don't know what's happening. Oh, you know why? It's a big flatty. What in the world? He's massive. That's a donkey flatty, guys. Um, not sure I'm going to lift this guy up. I don't think I'm going to be able to lift him up. He, that's 60 plus on the cranker crab. Please don't take my crab. There's a brim right near it. The guy I wanted. Look how big that flatty is, guys. I'm showing you because I don't think I'm going to be able to get him up. I don't have a net. What a joke. Six pound. Ooh. He's not happy. Um, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to get this guy. Oh, we're in a pickle now. We are in a pickle. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be able to lift him. There's no way. There is no way. Uh, keep his head on the water. That is a very nice dusky. That's a very nice dusky. My lead is not long either. Uh, yeah, we're screwed. He's going to snap off, guys. I'm not going to be able to get him. I wonder why he wasn't fighting. It just didn't feel like a brim. I'm just going to have to risk it, eh? What can we do? Oh no. I'm just going below now. He's a nice flathead, man. He's a nice flathead. Just trying to think how we're going to get down. The joys of not having a net, eh? We end up in situations like this. How dumb can I be? How dumb can I be, eh? Not only am I not going to get him, I'm going to lose my crab. Can you get in here by any chance? No, you can't. I don't have a key yet. You've got to be the owner. I've got a fl big flathead on, but I can't get him oh, up. Oh, well. Massive. Oh, yeah. I just can't get him up, eh? Got him, but you hooked him up, eh? Yeah, but it's very light leader. Right, right. Oh, it doesn't matter, man. Yes. I can't get down here. If I end up stacking that in, I reckon. <laughs> you might get straight in. Yeah. Good oh, luck, okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, let's give it a go, eh? Dumb idea. Yeah, it's not going to help anything, eh? He's huge. Oh, yeah, he's definitely got my line. He's not, he's not coming up. 
about eight pound possibly. But uh, not like this, no. No chance. Look at the crab. Look at that, look at that cranker crab right in his mouth. Oh, damn it. Come on, man. Come on, buddy. Be nice. Be nice, mate. There's not much we can do. It's going to snap. It's going to snap. It's going to snap. Shit happens. Bow alarm's open. Mm, we're going to lose the crab. We're going to lose the crab, man. Yep, gone. Ah, oh, shit. What can you do, eh? He was hitting 60 easily. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, that about wraps it up. Two broom on the crank of crabs. It took me around, um, it took me around two hours to actually get a few bites. But those bites were capitalised with fish caught, so... Uh, they weren't the biggest brim, but geez, it felt good. I'm um, just getting a few brim on board on the crank of crab, so always change it up, you know. I've, I've been fishing the river and the estuary a lot, so I thought I'd come down to the harbour and show you guys, um, show you guys that you can actually get some brim on crank of crabs as well. It's not always about the um, estuary systems. You can fish the harbour, fish structure, drop a few crabs down, and um, see how you go. But yeah, I think it's gonna, I think it's a good sign, and summer's around the corner. So I think it's going to only get better from here on, hopefully. It was hard work though, I did, I did work for those brim, but I um, hope you guys enjoyed the content. Uh, leave a comment, leave a like, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks guys, God bless, see ya.